All right, so, Lauren. Lynn. Oh, I was going to say, I was just saying hi. Um, so anyways, I was just trying to see your look up here to go through this. So what I want to do is I want to transform this into conditional, conditional form. And a lot of us kind of you know, had trouble through this from our last test. Can you see that? OK. A lot of us had trouble with this. So I want to make sure I go through all these examples so you guys can make sure we go um, understand it. So remember, guys, when we're doing something in conditional form, all right, the easy thing to remember about conditional form was the if-then statements, right? If something, then something else. If your hypothesis, then your conclusion. So I want to rewrite this um, on rewrite this in a conditional form. So pretty much if um, interior angles are alternate, if al alternate interior angles are equal, then they are on parallel lines. All right? And what's important about knowing a conditional statement, ladies and gentlemen, is that it's an if and a then. Now, what we call after what follows after the if, Tyler, do you remember? We call that the rhymes with hippopotamus. Hypothesis, right? It doesn't really rhyme, but whatever. <laughs> um, so then the next one is conclusion, which is Q. What's up, Monty? Ooh, you got a golden ticket? Uh, OK. See, you got it. Thank you. All right, so you guys have P and Q. The main important thing I want you guys to understand, conditional statement. If P, then Q, right? That's the formation we look at. So if P, then Q. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to work through each one of these examples kind of separately for us to go through. So guys, if you didn't um, write down the answer, that would probably be.